Hello folks, Richard Moore. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Friday. Had to think a minute and see what day we're in. I want to talk about um, an article that I posted yesterday. And it's uh, you can get that on Quora US Anti-Gang Stalking as well as um, Facebook United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. And we also have, um, I have a blog on WordPress. It, and you'll see a lot of posts from WordPress, uh, from blogs from WordPress. And I have other individuals too that, that cover what's going on with this association, what's going on with me, court cases, and this criminal element called community oriented policing and it never ceases to amaze me that these narrow-minded morons that participate in community oriented policing love to, to get out get on social media and troll like anybody cares what they do and uh and insinuate that uh, that the victim is somehow delusional. Of course, they're always they're never in your face when they're doing that. They're they've got a fake name, all that's bogus. A fake a Facebook page, all that stuff. So who's delusional? I use my real name. Everything you see is real, but they're bogus. They're fake. They're liars, and and they don't dare speak of this program. But this doubles down on what I've been saying, and this is important for the genuine targeted individual. This is important. This is uh, this article is uh, is entitled "Another Police Department Headed to Court Community Policing Refers to a Victim as a Gang Stalker." Now, this is Wichita, Kansas. The police department is targeting gangs. As I read that, the, the not being charged, they haven't been charged with a crime, not suspected of of, uh, of committing a crime. But you can already you already know how this how this ends up. That what neighborhood they're in doing this. You see, if uh, if it's a secret fraternal organization, well, that's not a gang. So the. I doubt they're targeting Masons. Most of the police force is a Mason. Or the Kiwanis Club. Or the Rotary Club. Toastmasters. We can go on and on. So they have a, a federal civil lawsuit in federal court against Wichita Police Department. And this is my point I want to make. There's so many fake, and I mean fake, platforms and sites and information and individuals until the genuine target realizes that the possibility of the majority of the folks that you're talking to, you're communicating with, that you're getting information from, are perpetrators. They're perpetrators. They, They'll be good ones. You can fall in love with them. They marry into families. This is not an isolated case. They will marry into families to be right in there in the middle of the mix and have one thing on their mind. And it's, they, they've got, and I've got the same thing. This program is designed for the long game. So am I. I'm years ahead of these people. I'm years ahead of them. But it's the long game. It, it's a slow, slow kill. And so you can be put on the list for anything, being a whistleblower, the you know it's be set up for a, a crime like they did me. I was going to name those people, but y'all will ruin my Friday talking about them. But I am going to talk about them. I've got a, a whole other list, and, and we're going to take it up a notch, the upper echelons, if you will, the pillars of the community that fall right into that rat scoundrel bracket 
where we've put the other ones. It's the phraseology, the terminology that these groups use. When you hear them saying gang stalker, understand this. They're speaking of you, the victim. And you're part of a group of people. A, a class of people in their mind. And, and you're creepy gang stalkers. See, it's deflection. It's deflection. Once you understand that, gang stalking simulation, that's a that's a bogus, there's so many bogus stuff, vid, video platforms and stuff on YouTube, it just makes me want to throw up. It's a joke. And when you hear a targeted individual keep referring and using the word gang stalker, gang stalker, gang stalker, you, you need to watch out because chances are very good they're a perpetrator. I've got a lot of names for these people that I won't share with you today. You've heard most of them. They're creeps. They're perverts. They're morons. They're criminals. They're slugs, slobs, pathetic excuses of humanity. I ran across that word gang stalking. I put that in. That's the name of this association. Simply where people will have an idea of what I'm talking about. And people still have an idea of what, what you're talking about. It's community-oriented policing. And I put another article in there. There was 300 and I don't know how many millions. I'm not going to look it up. Millions. Hundreds of millions. Every year. Go into community-oriented policing. In order for this to work, they have to get the community to participate. And so it's a painstaking process. The doctor, the lawyer, the nurse, the postman, the milkman said, well, that's, uh, no, it takes a village. It's community police. It's what it is. Read it. It's on the Department of Justice website. All the information. You can read until you drop from reading. For those that uh, want to just blab and be not informed what it doesn't say in there what you won't find is is what's missing is a is most of it it's the gray areas what they're not telling you they're not telling people that this taxpayer funded program it, they've got the window dressing on it is in fact a program that systematically denies citizens civil and constitutional rights destroys families, makes them unemployable, homeless, and drives them to suicide. Many of them are murdered. And they're tortured relentlessly 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not psychosomatically, literally. And they do this with noise harassment, color harassment, smear tactics, gossip campaigns, rumor tactics, all of this stuff. And the fact that they have to worry about where their next meal is coming from. And it goes on and on and on. It's not a matter whether you as a victim are guilty of something or not. That is not the point. We're not going to have that conversation. We have a system that's called due process. Innocent to proven guilty. And there's a process. So, community oriented policing, they have figured out how to give everybody, spread the wealth, and circumvent our judicial system, circumvent our constitutional civil rights. So, next time you, you, you look at these groups, and it's some of you, it's like uh, an exorcism, getting you to understand. Well, I, I like that part. Well, you know. I'm not telling you to hate anybody, but I'm telling you that uh, far too long I've pulled too many punches. I've known full and well the individuals that followed me on social media and that I corresponded with were perpetrators. It is not hard to tell. You know, if you're a victim, honey, there's no question about it. 
once that person starts talking to you, you're, and you're not speaking the same language, there you have it. And so, they've got problems. There's no question about that. They've got problems, and they're pathetic. But that's not my drive and bleeding heart for these criminals. That That's the only purpose they have in life, is to have to throw discord and confusion and befriend someone that is hurting, that needs help, that needs guidance, that needs instruction. And you absolutely, those perps are there and they, they're giving them all, some of them are giving them this wonderful pie in the sky scientific information. Now they feel satisfied satisfy me i mean if information makes you feel better hell order a, a encyclopedia britannica collection and there you have it you got everything you know if, if that's what you need some of us are are a little different other than being a red-blooded american and i'd like to be left the hell alone and work this out my own way without their help so don't look for other people to give you validation. To say, well, that's not proof or that's whatever. It, look, you're not in the courtroom. What you do as a victim is document, keep journal what's going on, take names, be observant, be observant. You have to understand the other things that, that are hard to put your hands on, trust me, they're not happening spontaneously there is a man behind the curtain every time not some of the times every time i'll promise you that i'm going to keep challenging that i'm going to keep challenging that and that that's why i'm, I'm, I'm bringing cases and cases to federal court or you can sit around and wait for somebody else to do all the work and say well i want to get i'll be glad to get a class action so i can just sign up and just sit back and and, and wait for it to stop well I don't need anybody on my team that's got that attitude, okay? Now, maybe you don't have the answers or, or know, and you want to be a part of something. I encourage you to, to share, share my channel, and to contribute, whether it's five, $5 a month, $5 a week, $10. You know what you're, I'm 100% listener supported. And by the grace of God, I'm still here. The perps hate that. The home office hates that. And, and I'll tell you another thing for you clowns out there. I'll be here too. I'm here because God said I'd be here. Take it up with him if you got a problem with it. <clears throat> Take it up with him. We've got a problem with tyrants committing crimes against humanity. And this is a, a global problem. You know, in, in the United States, when they get something that's that works good, looks good, and you, and you want to do business with the United States, these other countries just to adopt these other programs, and, and they're putting it in. And that's part of the deal, what's going on everywhere. So it's, it's global delusions. No. What it is, it's, it's absolutely a way to... Everybody gets money. It it creates. You, you might wonder. People are saying, "Well, we can't get anybody to work. Businesses are shuttered, and most states are not paying unemployment anymore." Do the math. What are these people doing for money? I, I mean, I don't know. What are they doing for money? They're out there creeping and stalking and torturing people. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. So it, they've sold their souls for a gift card, for a little bit of, for an accolade, or, 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 or a possession. You know, it's, it's not much. And they organize in fake churches. And you can spot those. If they got to celebrate recovery, 12-step program, fake. It, it's not hard, folks. It, people that are having trouble distinguishing that. So the important thing is that you document what, what you've got going on. And understand the lingo. Just because they're using the same, the words, the targeted individual, the ribbon, gang stalk, all that stuff was given to us by 
the criminals. They set the pace. They were already embedded, deeply embedded, on social media, on every topic, deep. Just waiting for the victims to stagger in there and hopefully and find something that's going on. And now they've got they've got you on the hook. And with AI and these perps behind it, there is no, AI is neither bad, evil nor good. It, it's just simply technology. But in the hands of the wrong people, you have the dark area of AI. And these people could care less if what's going on is good for you, good for your your physical being, good for your family, good for your life. Absolutely, on the contrary. It's skewed and geared to destroy you. That's the only way they win. That's the end game. You stay in it long enough, you'll learn. You'll see who's doing what. You'll get, get educated. I didn't have anybody telling me anything. I'm telling you. I'd have loved to have me then. Boy, that would have been nice. It would have saved me a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of legwork. But I can tell you, I got it the old-fashioned way. I earned it. I earned it. I've seen it. If I've seen it one time, I've seen it a thousand times. Law enforcement, stand up. Raise your right hand and lie like a damn rug in a courtroom. That oath... Swearing to God and that Bible, that is all that is hocus pocus to these people. So we'll see. We're going to address this in federal court and to see if the Constitution of the United States of America is hocus pocus. I'm talking about equal protection. And I'm going to keep talking about equal protection. So I encourage you to comment in the comment section. And you can reach out to me. And if you want to tell your story, we want to tell your story. We want to document what's going on. In case you get ran over or you drop dead, somebody will know what happened. Their chickens will come home to roost, ladies and gentlemen. You, you can rest assured it won't last forever. It won't last forever. I'm satisfied God has got the exit strategy and this, it will not last forever. As you sow, so shall you reap. Karma is absolutely real, ladies and gentlemen. And the people that you may think you know, but there's just something off. There's something off. You need to pull away from them. I've, I've, I've talked to hundreds of people every week the message, email, phone, and um, I get, I have people, it'll be one week they'll be on this, well, it's, it's these people do it, it's th those people do it, I said, stop, I didn't ask you who, who was doing what, I don't know who's doing it, law enforcement runs the program, okay, why are we still guessing, stabbing the dark, well, I don't know who's doing it, I just told you. And I, I promise you, I'll get on, on somewhere on today, and I'll see it if I only knew who. <laughs> so uh, we, around and around we go, and, and there there goes the the perpetrating. If you feed in to to the propaganda, if you feed into the fact that you're full of radiation, you need to drink iodine and all this stuff. As a man thinketh, so shall he be. Proverbs, it, you. Keep putting that in and, and programming your mind and your thought process as in hopeless destruction. My friend, you're headed down that hill of destruction. I refuse to claim and to talk about all of these things that are killing me. Or people tell me it's killing me. I quit smoking cigarettes four years ago. I'm satisfied cheeseburgers are probably not good for you. Trans fat is killing people. It's amazing. These people that uh, that have got the worst 
habits of eating junk and garbage are the first ones to point a finger. And say, You're not supposed to be doing this. You know, really, but based on what? Obviously, we've got people that have no moral compass. And you know how I feel about the moral compass. You cannot. There is no such thing as a, as a true moral compass without God. He, he is the, the benchmark for morality. So, there is no way. You can't be moral if, if you fill in the blank with something else. Okay? That I may have made some people mad there, but, you know, we still have that First Amendment right. And I've been arrested for that, by the way. Unflattering free speech. They want me to shut up. They don't want the names. The thousands of hours, I, terabyte after terabyte, I, I don't know if it's 8, 10, 12 terabytes or more of video footage of these people committing crimes. Tag numbers, identifiers, all these things. I've made police reports, and I'm still doing it. I'll, I'll keep doing that. I'll keep doing that. And they'll pretend like it doesn't matter. They think they're above the law, that there's nothing that can be done. There's court cases going on right now, including my, all over this country. Trust me, folks. Things are being done. Things are being done more than you can imagine. This program has run amok. And while these politicians love to tout they just got three million dollars for the Mississippi Delta down there for community oriented policing for the school district. Really? They got two or three million last year for human trafficking in Mississippi. I mean, folks, we I had no idea that we had that big of a human trafficking problem in Mississippi. So it's it, it never ceases to amaze me. And so, yeah, they love these. That's how they get back in office. They're bringing millions back in and, and giving them to Billy Bob Jim and letting them spread it out. And let me tell you, folks, idle hands are the devil's workshop. If they don't like you, the wrong color, wrong anything, then, buddy, they, they pencil you in and the race is on. Well, everybody else is getting too much money on the deal to to uh, to say anything, and that, that's a, that's a, a sad testament. Many of you that are involved in community oriented policing, whether you're an attorney, a, a professional in politics, you need to grow a backbone. You need to exhibit some courage. And don't go with a quid pro quo. I'm just bringing money in. And, you know, I can't micromanage it. You know what's going on. It's no secret what's happening. People are dying. People are suffering. That is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. And I'm talking about here in the United States of America. United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. 2022. Exposing the Explorers. I'll have my GoFundMe. Again, your support keeps this, keeps our work going. I also encourage you to become a Patreon for exclusive material, especially for those that would like to get maybe tutored a little bit to start their own federal case. And I mean, that scares people. They're, and I'll, t I'll tell you this, will you, if you find an attorney, good luck with that. Good luck with that. That doesn't mean you don't have a case. That doesn't mean you don't. It doesn't have merit. That just means that you. It, it's going to take somebody. Again, you're the victim. When do you want it to stop? That I mean, that's is is as is about as good as I can make it, ladies and gentlemen. When do you want it to stop? I've met people that are no longer with us that were pleading, pleading with me, please tell the FBI that we're in fear of our life, a senior citizen couple, I've talked about it a lot. 
and I did. I made all these attempts before they died and after. They've yet to take the first statement. They've already got their story. They've already got their story. They've already got it, got it planned out. This is not an isolated case. We've got people missing and murdered here in Union County, Mississippi. Jessica Stacks, it's, it's been over a year. I mean, you know. We, it's obvious that the story they gave does not work. Are there people in law enforcement knows what happened? Yes. But they also know that time is on their side. And eventually people will move on to something else. Now, if it's your daughter, or your son, or your mother, or your dad, they don't move on. When you wrongfully arrest somebody and they're wrongfully convicted, they don't move on. When you violate and destroy families and take their children and do these ungodly acts, they don't move on. Focus that energy on exposing these people, naming their names. They shouldn't have a problem with that. This is what happened. This is who I talked to. What did they do? Nothing. Put their name out there. But they love this anonymity. Hold them accountable. They work for us. <laughs> they work for us. You'd think it was the other way around. They don't answer questions. They want to be a they want to catch an attitude with you when you you know, and all this stuff. So hold up. I, I it's the taxpayer writing the check. Who do you think you are? You're a public servant, a civil servant. If you don't want to serve the people, and you thought it was something else, maybe you get in the, in, a, in the private sector. But you're in the public sector and got an attitude and decided, you know what? I'm going to protect this individual over here, but I'm going to allow and sanction this individual's civil and constitutional rights to be violated. I, I took an oath to uphold the Constitution, but I'm going to circumvent that somewhere. I don't know how they do it. God will understand. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he will understand it. You better believe it. In uh, uh, more ways than you can imagine. I don't think you're going to like the outcome. And it's not It's not like, well, uh, you know, after I've done this, then I'll repent and everything will be all right. Well, good luck with all that. Good luck with all that. Document, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear from you. Subscribe to my channel and share. I can't stress the importance of that. Subscribe and share. Let me hear from you. Until next time, God bless you.